So you're on a website and you want to know what makes it run, what technology stack are they using, and I've got three tools today to show you, and they're all free, they're all browser extensions, I've got them installed in Chrome, also available I believe all of them for Firefox and the normal browser situations. If you want to just know what I use, it's the third one we're going to go over, it's Wappalizer. I've been using it for a few years, it does everything I need to, it's kind of a middle ground between what runs, which is what you see on the screen here, and built with, which is the first one we'll look at. Built with is too complicated, too detailed, and what runs is not quite detailed enough most of the time. Now, all these are free tools. None of them are perfect, but they all give me a snapshot, which is all I'm looking for, of the website technology. Okay, let's check out first built with. Now built with, and I'll leave a link for all these in the description below, but built with is very expensive. So this is a super granular level tool where you can type in a website here or just go and install on the Chrome extension store, the Chrome extension. It'll appear up here in the top right corner. And this is what it looks like. So let's go over here to this coffee website I was browsing and it gives you all sorts of stuff, analytics, Facebook Pixel, global site tags, widgets, Slack, type, I mean, too much stuff. And it's like reading a book up here. I don't wanna read a book, I just want a quick snapshot. Well, that's where our second tool comes into play. What runs is strictly a Chrome extension. And let's see if it's available elsewhere. Is it available elsewhere? This may only be a Chrome extension. Up, 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 up. I think it is. Whatever, you're using Chrome, don't act like you're not. So I've installed this from the Chrome store also, and let's go back to that same site and see how this does. And it doesn't give me a lot. It gives me uh, two things here is all. Let's go into their shop coffee page, click it again, and yeah, we've got cash and CDN. So. What runs is uh, nice and minimalist, and here on another page we can see that it's successfully identifying Squarespace as the CMS for this, one of my local coffee shops, but it doesn't quite give me enough information. The third solution, and this is the one, like I told you, that I use, this is called Wappalizer. They too, if you buy the like full-on version, they're very expensive. Uh, apparently these tools are valuable for, I guess, businesses, because I'm not paying $4.50 a month to be able to do this. At any rate, you can also go to apps and see all the different places where you can install their extension. And we've got the same thing over here in the Chrome store where I've added it up here to the bar. And let's go back to our original example and see what all it gives us. And yeah, here's what I wanted. Nice, easy to recognize with icons, all the different categories from analytics, CDN, marketing, e-com. Usually I'm looking for a framework to see what they're using or some JavaScript packages, the e-commerce platform or CMS that, that uh, places are using. So this gives me everything that I really want in a nice little package. Here's that Kbrew site again, and they're using WordPress, WooCommerce, and here's another local shop here, Honeybee. They're using Squarespace, Squarespace Commerce. Hope that's helpful for you. Stick around and watch this video next. And I hope you have a great afternoon or evening or morning or night.